this video is gonna be gonna be explaining how to set up a simple plan because I don't feel like writing up more documentation. So the first thing you need to do is go to open up the script and then go to the garden raw module and change the value of this constant to the value to um, the map that you're gonna be loading all of your seed or plant events from. So for this example it's just gonna be to map two. Okay, so after you've done that, you need to go into your database and you need to make a you need to make a um seed. So you need you need to make an item that represents a seed. So this this item is gonna represent tomato seed. So we named it tomato seed, we gave it an icon that kinda looks like tomato seed. We um, set its type to normal, we made sure that we could only use it from the menu, and then we made sure that it didn't have um, that it didn't affect any or any enemies. After we did all that, we gave it to Seed We gave it to them no tags. The first no tag is specifies how fast it grows in frames. So this seed grows one stage every 60 frames. That's what seed rate 60 means. And seed stage is seven means that the seed has a total of seven stage seven different growth stages. So after you've done that, you set up a simple um seed or plant egg. You can set up whatever you're trying to represent. And now you need to make the actual events for the plant. So we so go to your event map for for this project. It's for this some example. It's uh, for this example. It's map two, and make a new event. Now it's important. Now the event must have the same name of the item that is that it's being associated with and that needs to be followed by an integer. I'll explain the integer a little bit more later. <laughs> okay now the um the event needs to be organized in a in a very specific way. Since our plant has uh, each each event represents five can represent a maximum of five stages of growth. So for this event it's gonna represent the first um five stages of our plant growth. So we're gonna make five stages here. And these pages need to have very specific conditions. Or not that you know it's not that specific. The first page should have nothing, should require nothing on. The second quote page requires self should require self switch A on. The third page should require B on. The fourth page C and the last page requires D on. All plants need to follow this model because of the way the script was written. It expects the events to be set up this way. And what the script is going to do, it just, uh, it's just going to iterate through each of these pages. Each page represents one stage, so we have a maximum of five stages per event. Because we set our, our um, growth rate to uh, 60, it's gonna, the um, script is going to iterate through each page every 60 frames. And now we just want to look like, make it look like the tomato plant is growing. And all I'm doing right now is I'm just trying, trying to um, use, uh, you know, use use uh, graphics that make it look like a tomato plant is growing slowly. Okay, so that, that's our first five stages of growth for our tomato seed or tomato plant. And that's kind of what it's going to look like when it's growing. So after we've done that, since our tomato seed had seven stages, not five, we need to make another event. We need to name it tomato seed and we need to um, follow that by an integer. And the, here's where the integer comes in play. This tells, it, this tells the um, script which order, which order to use which events in. So it's going to use the um, tomato seed one event first, then it's going to go to tomato seed two. We need to organize the um, the event in the same way that we did the last one. The first page has no, requires nothing on, the second page requires self switch A on. 
Since we only have um, seven total stages and we already made five, we only need two pages on this event. So now we just want to make the last two, uh, you know, give a, make a graphic for the last two stages of growth. Okay. So um, that's basically that, that. That's basically it. Now, now the events are set up, and now we should be able to give the player a tomato seed item, and the player should be able to plant it, and it should be able to grow. So let's see if that works now. I'm just making an event to give the player the item. Okay, so now let's test it out. Oops. Oh gosh, which one is loading? Okay. <laughs> tomato seed. And our tomato seed is growing. And once it gets to the full tomato, it stops. And that's how you make a simple plant. If you want to plant the um, plant in... um, If you want to plant the plant in front of you, you can hold down the shift key. And then it'll place it in front of you. If you want to place it under you, you can just do that. And that's that's how you make a simple plan. So there's obviously lots of other functionality in the script. Uh, you can see that in the demo, or you can you know do me a favor and read the documentation that I spent so much time writing. So uh, thanks for watching.